Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another um, another Mixing for Musicians episode. Today we are going to be looking at the difference between a vocal recorded at home and a vocal recorded at the studio and it's kind of the end of the vocal series that we've been doing. So um, I'm doing this in response to a question that asks, uh, does it make a difference to record uh, vocals in a studio or can I just do them at home because at the end it goes into the mix and there's processing on anyway, so can you hear the difference? Um, so I don't want to mislead you by giving me, you uh, my opinion, I just want you to listen. So uh, this is the exact same vocal, uh, exact same vocalist, exact same uh, song, just recorded in two different locations. So this first one is the home vocal, I'll let you You've been running through my mind just the thought of you and then you've been running through my mind just the thought of you okay so i want to also do an a b test where i just flip through it the whole phrase at different points just so it makes it easier for you guys to hear the difference but before i do that i just want to quickly remind you that i do mixing recording and producing services um i also do production lessons like this private lessons where you can get better at making and mixing your own music you can empower yourself uh, by learning and then i also do a podcast where i catch up with local artists and the music that they're doing uh, which goes up every thursday and all of my contact details are on my instagram page okay so um now that's out of the way let's listen to uh the vocal you've been running through my mind just the thought of you damn it i do it every time there's nothing more i could do so i said before that i didn't want to mislead you uh with my opinion before letting you listen to the vocal but i do want to now add my con uh, my opinion in the conclusion um and this is what i want to say vocal is the most important element to a song um these days and uh it's important to get that right. So recording your uh, vocals at home is great for a demo track, but ultimately uh, a studio is going to give you better marks. Uh, it's going to give you a better room. And ultimately it's going to give you a better performance because most studio uh, situations will come with an engineer who will press record for you and coach you through uh, different parts depending on the engineer you get. Um, so ultimately that can end up in a better performance. Um, so I do want to say that if you could afford uh, on your song to put some money behind an hour or two in a professional studio to record your vocals, I highly recommend you do that, especially when it doesn't cost anything to make the rest of uh, the music because we can do it now uh, quite cheaply uh, or even free in uh, a program like Logic, Ableton or Fruity Loops. Um, so that saves a whole bunch of budgets um, on uh, the rest of the production, uh, giving you more money to put behind your vocals. So um, that's my two cents. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next week.